The Chemistry of Piezoelectricity. Before talking about the science behind it all, it's important to understand what it means. So, what is piezoelectricity? Piezo comes from the word pressure. And electricity is a form of energy resulting from the existence of charged particles. Combining those two definitions, piezoelectricity is the ability of a substance to conduct an electric current when pressure is applied. Now you know a little bit about what it means, it's time to question, how does it work? It first starts with a substance that has a crystalline structure and no net charge. This is because for every positive charge, there is a negative charge to perfectly balance it out. Piezoelectricity only occurs in substances with a crystalline structure, which as you can recall, a crystal can be any solid in which the arrangement of atoms is very orderly and goes on endlessly. When pressure is applied, the balance of charges shift and become deformed. Therefore, an imbalance between the charges is created. As you can see, the positive charges are pushed towards one end, and the negative charges are pushed towards the other. This means that the substance has a net charge on its opposite faces. A voltage is then able to be produced across the oppositely charged faces. And that is the overview of the science behind piezoelectricity and how it works. One of the key features of piezoelectricity is that the reverse, or opposite, is also true. When a substance is subject to an electric current, the crystalline structure becomes slightly deformed and the charges become unbalanced. Piezoelectricity is used in many different ways, so here are just a few common examples. Many of these examples use a device called a piezoelectric transducer, which is able to convert one type of energy into another type. The first example is an ultrasound. In an ultrasound, a piezoelectric transducer converts electrical energy into mechanical vibrations that are used for things like scanning. The next example is a microphone. Inside the microphone, there are the crystals that allow for piezoelectricity to take place. The pressure from your voice causes those crystals to move back and forth, creating electrical signals. One more example is a quartz watch or clock. In this device, the reverse of piezoelectricity is used. A battery inside the watch or clock gives off electrical energy, which allows for the crystals to oscillate many times. Gas stoves and barbecues also have a piezoelectric transducer to help them operate. Just to recap, piezoelectricity is the ability of a substance to give off electrical energy by having a charge when it is subject to pressure by shifting the balance of the charges.